Hello everybody, welcome back to Big Easy Life and welcome to our new segment. I decided I wanted to do a segment to kind of dispel or prove some of the biggest myths that come along with the city of New Orleans. The first one we're going to touch on is all about New Orleans being below sea level. We're going to call this section Big, Big Easy, Easy Myths. Myths. First, I encourage you to comment below on any tale, myth, or supposed fact about the Big Easy you've heard, and I'll see what we can do with them. Of course, I'd like you to hit the subscribe button, also, so you'll know when I attempt to tackle them. So, let's address a huge one right off the bat. New Orleans is completely below sea level. Everyone's heard it. Most people believe it. Problem is, it's only half true. Depending on where exactly one frames the area measured, Roughly 50% of Greater New Orleans lies above sea level. That's the good news. You want to know what the bad news is? It used to be 100%. The original city footprint was built on the natural levees and ridges in this area. Its whole elevation was 10 to 15 feet above sea level, with the outlying areas being marsh. It wasn't until the late 1800s that municipal engineers built a network of gutters, ditches, and with the propulsions of some steam-driven pumps, were able to expel up to one and a half inches of rainfall per day into surrounding water bodies. Construction of a new drainage system began in 1896. It then accelerated in 1899 when voters overwhelmingly approved a two-mill property tax to create the New Orleans Sewerage and Water Board. There are some people I think regret that nowadays. By 1905, 40 miles of canal had been excavated. Hundreds of miles of pipelines had been laid. And six pumping stations were draining up to 5,000 cubic feet of water per second. Think about that. In 1913, a young engineer named Albert Baldwin Wood designed an enormous impeller pump that could discharge water even faster still. 11 wood screw pumps were installed by 1915 and many are still in use today. That's right, over a hundred years later we're still using the same pumps. The change was immediate and amazing. In just a few years the swamp became the suburbs. But several things were happening that were not as obvious. First, by building levees the river could no longer overflow and deposit sediment that was the building block of all this wonderful new land in the area. Second, by draining the swamp, that land slowly started to dry and compact, causing it to sink further. This left the original ridges along the natural waterways as the high ground. As I traversed New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina in a boat, I can remember having to get out and pull the boat across the Esplanade Ridge, being the original high ground that Bienville and his men had walked 300 years earlier. I hope this has been informative and giving you some insight into this myth of below sea level. If you have any questions, please comment below. If you enjoyed, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, visit us on Facebook, and all those places. Get the latest videos from us, we won't disappoint. And we hope to see you soon and share more of our Big Easy Life.